Hello. In this lecture, I will explain how to edit normals. Before watching this lecture, I recommend you to watch the lecture about what normals are and used for. Let's press tab key and go to edit mode. Let's go to overlays menu and enable vertex and face normals. As you know, there are two types of normals. Vertex and face normals. We have learned all about both of these. But, objects also have customizable normals, which are called split normals. If we enable split normals, it displays vertex normals per face separately. Each vertex is split into multiple normals for each face. They point in the same direction with those faces. We can edit those split normals. Let's select those two vertices and rotate them. Press R and then N key to rotate split normals. And also press X key to constraint to rotation to the X axis. As you can see, the shading of the faces is changing when we rotate the split normals. But, selecting a vertex and rotating the normals will rotate both of the split normals. So, it's going to affect every face the vertex is part of. If you want to rotate only one split normal, then, firstly enable vertex and face selection mode both. To do this, hold shift and click on the face selection mode. Now, we can select faces and vertices together. To edit one split normal, select the vertex we want to edit, then, Hold shift and select the face whose normal we want to edit. Now, let's press R key and then N key. There we go. Let's disable face selection mode again. You should know that Blender automatically enables auto smooth option and adds custom normal split data when you edit your normals. Let's go to Object Data Properties menu and expand Normals panel. As you can see, it has been enabled automatically, because Auto Smooth is necessary for split normals to work. Let's expand Geometry Data panel. As you can see, it says that clear custom split data. It means your object has custom normals already. If you want to reset this data, you can click on this button. This is how split normals look like in flat shading. Let's press A and select all vertices of the object. Now, let's go to face menu and make shade smooth. As you can see, split normals just look like vertex normals now. And the beveled edge looks really soft and flat faces take this gradient effect. Because, in smooth shading, a face is shaded by interpolating between the vertex normals. It is kind of blending of these vertex normals. If we want to get this face to look flatter, we need to have all vertex normals pointing in the same direction. Let's select this face. Then, press Alt N and select the set from face option. There we go. All vertex normals is pointing in the same direction now. And, the face is shaded perfectly flat and no gradient effect anymore. Let's press Shift D and duplicate the object for comparison. Let's disable auto smooth and clear split normals data for new object. As you can see, the object we have edited its normals look better. It has smoother bevel edge and don't have any gradient effect on this face. This is very useful for game models. Because we can get better shading results on our model although our model is low poly.
Let's press Alt N and open Normal Edit menu. Select the Point to Target option. When you activate this, you will have some options in the top of the screen. If you press M key, Normals will point to the mouse. If you press L key, Normals will point to the pivot point of the object. If you press O key, Normals will point to the origin point of the object. You can press enter or left click on the mouse to confirm. Let's press 3 key to go to right view. Let's move the object on the Y axis and change origin point placement. Press Alt N again and activate the point to target option. Now, press O key and Normals is pointing to new origin of the object. There is some other options up there too. You can try them. Select these two vertices and press Alt N to edit normals. Let's select split option here. There we go. We have split custom normals again. If you want to merge them together, you can select the merge option here. Let's go to face menu and make shade flat the object. Now, we have split normals again. Let's select any vertex and press Alt N. Go over the average and select the custom normals. There we go. It takes average of the vertex normals. The next option is face area. It tilts vertex normals based on the face area surrounding them. Let's select these two vertices and extrude little bit. As you can see, despite the two different face sizes, vertex normals point average of the face directions. So, if you want the direction of the vertex normals to be determined by the face areas, Press Alt N and select the Average Face Area option. There we go. The smaller the surface area, the more the vertex normal tilts. Let's press Alt N again and select the Corner Angle option. It will set the vertex normal by corner angle. Let's select this vertex and press Alt N. Go over the copy vectors and select this option. Now, the direction of this normal is copied. Let's select another vertex and press Alt N again. Go over the paste vectors. There we go. We have copied a vertex direction and pasted to another one. Now, two normals point to the same direction. The Smooth Vectors option makes a normal the average of the surrounding normals. Let's select the vertex we want to make smooth. Press Alt N and select the Smooth Vectors option. There we go. If I want to reset my all normals, I should select all vertices. Then press Alt N and select the Reset option. There we go. Now, all normals are pointing to original normals direction. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial.